Hi, this is Yin, and I'm here with Helmut today to talk about how to use social media in your small business and to help it to grow. Helmut, any uh, tips for our listener here? Lots of tips. Oh. Uh, actually, uh, four tips. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number one, uh, social media consists uh, of uh, two um, uh, videos in large quantities, actually not necessarily large quantities of video, but 10, 20 videos and submit them to about 50 video channels like YouTube. I see. So it's like sharing contents on videos. Sharing contents, informational contents like an infomercial. Mm. Okay. What we're doing here is supposed to be an infomercial. Mm. Okay. It's supposed to inform people a little bit and that's the new marketing style and infomercials in the past, of course, the last decade or two have done phenomenally well. Mm. And, and why videos? Why not um, you know, just uh, written information? Because people love to watch videos. Right now people uh, mm. on YouTube watch uh, 6 billion videos a month. Mm. Um, and that is more than all the channels uh, in the network together. Right. Okay. And Google loves video. So when your videos are on about 50 or 60 uh, internet channels, not on yours, you know, this is all about not putting a video on your site. I mean, you can put it there, you should, but not on yours. It's on 50, 60 other ones. Google goes, oh my God, this guy is important. Got that? Mm. So overall, we are trying to put about 10, 15, 20,000 videos out there. 10, 15,000, 20. But we do that with shooting only 10 or 15 videos. Mm. We put them on number one, as I said, on 50, 70 websites, and we put them on 50, 70 websites 10, 20 times, however, every time with a different title. Mm. I see. You, you see? Mm. Implant dentist, cosmetic dentist. Basically, we give the movie a different title. Mm. I see. That's all. Mm. And these uh, channels are all free? Totally free. I see. Mm. Glad you asked. Totally free. So, point number two is make a blog. And put, of course, all the videos we just made on a blog, plus put some articles, put some pictures, and sometimes, uh, you know, put like, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff on it, but uh, uh, a blog. What's a blog? A blog is a website. However, it's a website which is very easy to update, like an email. Dum, 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 you click and you update it. And where people can answer back, it's called comments. And Google loves that. Because now you have the website hugely updated, and of course the people, the prospects love it. Mm. They want to interact. See, so it, Google will put them on the first page easier if the website is updated constantly. Yeah, that's one criteria of them: a constantly updated website. Now, so most small businesses, uh, business owners, think that their website was updated a year ago, and they think that's constantly updated, <laughs> but it really right. is supposed to be updated a few times a day. Okay. And we don't need to go that crazy about it. But actually, that's what will happen because if you update it once a day yourself by putting. A small email, a small blog, uh, copy an article from your old website on it, or uh, put a video on it, and then people answer back, actually you will get it updated several times a day. Mm, wow. That's exactly. True. Point number three, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, LinkedIn. Mm, getting involved in them. Yes, mm. uh, getting involved in them. Most people understand as social media being only that. Mm, okay, so they're missing, you know, information, uh, infomercial, uh, you know, dissemination. Completely. completely, right? Completely, you know, completely, and they're missing the quantity of that. Um, now, point number four is probably the most important part. Okay, which is? Which is, if a small uh, any person doesn't actually hire a company, and that that may sound and look as much as a blog for uh, you know blog for people doing business with us, it, it's what it is. Uh, if they do not hire a company who has a strategy, who is number one, marketing orientated, knows marketing, knows, knows public relation, um, and knows that the social media, knows about the videos and all that, which we just mentioned, um, he will not get it done because it's too much work. Okay, mm. Simply too much work. Mm. It is tedious work, even I wouldn't want to do it. On my own. Yes, I write my articles. Yes, I write some stuff. But I don't go out there and putting stuff on Facebook and etc. 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 You know, because I have people doing it. Mm. It's not possible any other way. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, and especially the videos and the submissions. So it's a little bit like this. If you're a car mechanic and let's say your whole family is a car mechanic, seven people in it, they're all super good car mechanic. They still couldn't build a Honda or a Mercedes in the same time frame and uh, with the same low price than the manufacturer came. Mm, I see. And it's just like uh, many people attended the real estate seminars, you know, they, they got great data from the seminar and after the seminar they go home, they do nothing with it or they, do, they, they, they try something but it, 
it took so much time and effort. Exactly. Yeah. The same thing. Um, in 1981 uh, or two or so, I attended real estate seminar, bought 10 houses. Mm -hmm. But I had nothing else to do. And for some reason, that's what I wanted to do. But most people, only one in thousand, more or less, is the data out of those real estate seminars actually does something. Why? Because, yes, the data is there. The data is good. It's not that it doesn't work. Of course it works. Mm -hmm. But it takes looking for houses, looking for houses, looking for houses. Not every house qualifies for buying it that way and you just like buy it like bread. This is not how it works. And thus there's too much work involved and people who are professionals who own a restaurant, a dentist, they have work to do. When they come home they want to be doing nothing. They want to play golf, they want to be with wife and kids. Mm. Thus it will simply never happen no matter what a great opportunity it is. I see. So the, the thing to do for business owners would be to hire a, a marketing company familiar with social media, knowing how to use PR, uh, knowing how to use uh, you know, the video Basic technology. Marketing. Yes. Basic marketing is very important, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. yeah, and then to hire that, and then to perhaps even hire a uh, you know college kid, you know, a, 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 an assistant to do the physical legwork for them, so that they can get the whole project going. Exactly, to use the the, the, the consulting company as a strategy company, mm -hmm. and maybe to set it all up. Because once something is set up, to keep it running is a lot easier. Sure. Okay, mm -hmm. and the beauty is, once you have five to ten thousand videos on it, they stay there forever. Oh, that's nice. That you understand? So on the first page of Google, you know. Yeah, I mean, you wouldn't you would want to keep updating it, of course, mm -hmm. and you want to keep putting new data out there, of course, because there's new things happening. But at the same token, it's there. It, it, it won't be taken away anymore from you. The guys who come after you, well, they come after you. Great. All right. So here are the tips uh, for small business owners. And there are more on our videos to, uh, to share with you on our blog site. So go there for sure. And uh, we'll see you there. Hope you found it informational.